there, it's Larry Lursey. Um, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial today on clipping masks in Photoshop. I think clipping masks are uh, sound a little more complicated than they really are, and so I'm going to kind of give you a quick run through on how to do a basic clipping mask. And what we're talking about is this type of a look where uh, we've got an image and we've got these letters on top that you're only seeing the words or only seeing the image through the different letters of the word as if the picture is sitting underneath a cut out piece of paper. Actually, the image is on top of this, but that's kind of the, the, the look that we're going for is something along these lines. And we'll kind of explain it as we go. So I'm starting out here with, let's get this out of the way, uh, just a blank canvas here. I started, if you want to play along, it's just a seven by 12 uh, white. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select the text tool. You want to make sure you're in black. And I'm going to set this to a pretty big, I'll do about 400. I'll click in here and just type Paris. And check it off. All right. So here is our, basically, if we look over here, we've just got a text layer sitting on top of a white background. Just like that. We can move it around. We can do whatever we want resize it, uh, all those fun things, but that's what we're going to go with for now. Then what we do is take an image, we're going to drop this on top, kind of center it up a little bit, like this. Let's go ahead and get the whole screen here. All right, so now our image, if we look over here, we've got the image on top. Below that is the word Paris. Below that is just the white background. So those are our three layers that we've got set up here. So the way we create the clipping mask is very simple. Uh, you can either just right click here or go up into this little box and we're going to choose create clipping mask. There we go. Now if you look over here, this is what it's going to look like. You see this little arrow pointing down that shows us that there's a clipping mask that this is clipped onto this. So what's cool about that is now we can go back and change this. Um, pretend we spelled Paris wrong and it was supposed to be PE. You can do whatever you want and it's still going to remain clipped to this word. Now the issue you'll have of course is as we move things around uh, the words not moving the backgrounds moving. But that's works out good for us here initially because we're going to use it to align this thing however we want it to go. And just going to drag it around until I think that looks nice. Um, so we'll leave that like that. Now what another thing you can do is if we just work with this text layer here, you can do things to the text layer such as uh, put a drop shadow on it, for example, if we come down under effects and choose drop shadow. And uh, you can play around with the settings however you'd like to. It doesn't really matter. We're just putting a little bit of that drop shadow. You can see it before and after kind of sets it off a little bit. And it's putting the drop shadow on these letters and not on the image back behind it. So the image back behind it, which I guess you can see up here, it's really on top, but kind of looks like it's back behind it. So it's only showing the image through those letters. And you can create a whole bunch of different things with this. You could um, try different images back there. You can change up the wording. You can size things around. Now one problem you will run into is let's say at this point we like how this looks and we want to take this whole thing and slide it down to the bottom and center it at the bottom of the page. Well, if we grab it and try and move it, all we're moving is that image. Don't want that. So what we would do is you're going to select the two layers over here. So we've already got the image. I'm going to hold down shift. So now I've got the text and this, the two linked together ones uh, clipped together and I'm going to hit the link button. Now they're linked. Now I can move it and they move together. If I get it down here, decide that I don't like how the image looks at the top, I can just unlink them back to where we were and I can move this around a little bit. However you want. So that's a basic clipping mask. It's pretty simple to do. Uh, you just got to kind of keep up with where your images are. If you're doing multiple ones, you want to make sure that the image is sitting on top of the text. 
that uh, you're clipping it to and as you move things around um, keep things organized with your layers but that's a basic clipping mask and I hope that helps so give it a try and uh, let me know what you think I uh, will talk to you soon bye bye